Thank you. Good evening. I'm Dan Courtney. I live on West Watomo Beach Road up on the lake. It was uh, on July 15th that I had the privilege of offering the invocation to this board, and I was the only non-theistic invocator in the 15-year history of invocations at the town of Greece. I had hoped that this was a signal of greater inclusion and cooperation. Sadly, this doesn't seem to have been the case. Just a few weeks after that invocation, this board adopted a new invocation policy that states, quote, the invocation speaker shall be selected from assemblies that regularly meet for the primary purpose of sharing a religious perspective. Now, the town has been asked a number of times if this new policy means, what it clearly seems to say, that an atheist, like me, would not be permitted to deliver future invocations. Now, stop me if I'm misunderstanding this, but the town has not yet answered that question. But why is this such a difficult question? It didn't seem like a difficult question a year ago when the town submitted its brief to the Supreme Court. Central to the town's appeal to the court was the argument that invocation could be, quote, offered by any town resident from any faith tradition or no faith tradition who volunteers to speak. In fact, the town said, through its brief, that the one key conclusive fact in the case was that the opportunity is open to all residents. That the town, quote, allowed any citizen to volunteer to deliver an invocation and never rejected such a request. Quote, under the town's practice, atheists and non-believers were also welcome to volunteer to give an invocation. Quote, town officials explained that everyone could volunteer to deliver the opening prayer. Quote, any town resident of any faith or no faith may offer the invocation. Quote, the prayer opportunity was open to anyone. Quote, there is no evidence that the town would not have accepted any and all volunteers who asked to give a prayer. Quote, the town made no restrictions on who could volunteer to offer the prayer. Quote, it is undisputed that the town would have welcomed atheists and non-believers to open the meeting with a statement of their choosing. Quote, the volunteers from, excuse me, volunteers from any or no religion are permitted to deliver an opening statement. And quote, the town allowed all to participate. I don't know, maybe you changed your mind. Thank you, Dan. One of our members um, gave you a call, but I don't know the zip code of Hamlin where you live, but what's the zip code? 14468. Thank you. 